The GoCater Software Development Kit includes open source software libraries and documentation that can be used to programmatically access and control GoCater sensors. You can download the GoCater SDK from LMI3D.com or from within the GoCater web interface, which we will show here. Click the Manage page in the upper left corner of GoCater Classic. Then click on the Support tab. Next to Software Development Kit, click Download. If you are connected to the internet, a zip file should begin downloading. After extracting, you should be left with a folder named go underscore SDK. Go to the Windows search bar and type in Environment Variables. Select Edit the System Environment Variables. Now click Environment Variables. For variable name, type in go underscore SDK underscore 4. Click Browse Directory and navigate to the Go SDK folder that you downloaded. Then click OK. For this tutorial, we will be using Visual Studio 2022. Let's navigate to the sample projects included in the Go SDK folder. Click Open a Project or Solution. Choose Go SDK, Samples, C Sharp, and then Go SDK Samples C Sharp. Click Open. Click Install if prompted to download additional files. Click Continue. Double click the Receive Measurement Sample Project seen here in the Solution Explorer. The code should appear in your viewer. Make sure that the sensor IP address seen here matches the IP address of your sensor. If you have the GoCater interface open, you can see the sensor IP address in the browser address bar. Click on the Measure page. For this walkthrough, we will add a random profile tool just to generate a sample output measurement. This will allow us to test if the receive measurement sample code is pulling output measurements from GoCater correctly. Here we can see that the X output value for this tool is around 10. Click on the output page and make sure that the measurements you want to output are selected. Switching back over to Visual Studio, right-click Receive Measurement and choose Build. Then click the Start button to run the code. Seen here, the measurement value of 10 is displayed in the terminal window, confirming that the sample code is running properly and is linked to the sensor. If you receive any errors in this process, it may help to copy the bin folder in go underscore SDK and paste it into the C-sharp samples folder seen here. Choose Replace Files in the Destination. If you are still getting errors, you can try deleting the Post Build Events command line, which can be found in the properties for each project. For more information about Go SDK, please refer to the manual associated with your GoKitter sensor. And if you would like to learn more about LMI's built in GoKitter software, feel free to sign up for a course at the Training Center page at LMI3D.com.